All right, so this is Phil. Um, I pretty much got everything back together. I got to get the plastic pieces on the bottom of the car, but uh, this is pretty much it. I did have to go back through. I put, as you can see, I put the shelf, I mean the uh, hood pins on. It, very strange because I didn't do, put these holes in. I didn't put these holes in. These holes came from Honda 23 years ago. And when I put the bolts on, I came through here with a magnet. I used a magnet on the bolt and I tightened the bolt down. And when I got the heights up, the heights were almost perfect. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, man. And uh, if you don't know, when you put hood pins in, they give you a collar that goes above the hole you cut. So you try to get now. One thing you, I would recommend with these, if you ever put them in, is tighten them up. Because I didn't tighten it up and I had to drill my hole a lot bigger. But they give you a collar to cover it when you get uh, the hood where you want it to be and then you put your screws in it. I actually used self uh, uh, coated screws that I had because the screws that they had were just shit. So I mean I used screws that I knew were going to hold and they have a coating on them so hopefully they'll not rust. But what I did find out was when I got this in here. Now when I put this this radiator in here it wasn't touching any of this. Okay. And when I put the hood pins in, all of a sudden it was touching right here and right here, right on the on this part. And I was like, you know what? That absolutely cannot happen. Um, we can't have that. So uh, I went ahead and I released the brackets here and I had enough flex. You have to be careful because this is all press fit. And it goes into some rubber grommets at the bottom that holds it. And you can twist things to where you loosen it up and it's garbage. So I got enough pressure to push it out to put a adjustable wrench here. And I bent this metal up so it wasn't contacting the radiator. So, But I'm going to put this back in the... Uh, and it looks okay so far. You see some... I just put uh, the blue coolant in it and ran it up to temperature. The fans haven't come on yet, so I'll have to see about that. Um, I think they're going to come on in a minute. It's just a, the motor's not hot. It's just actually running cooler than it has in a long time. <laughs> because of the new radiator but I'm gonna let you see what the car looks like uh, I'm pretty happy I mean considering it was a huge mistake on my part and sorry about this folks I'm having trouble getting it into the thing here we go but considering this was a huge mistake on my part and it should have never happened you know I, I should have known better you know but I didn't I screwed up but here we go this is the finished product for the hood I gotta put all the plastic underneath it back in. And I'm gonna turn it back on and hopefully the fans are gonna come on. Because I think they will. It's just the motor's not hot enough. But there's a you can hear it, it clicks in. That's the safety latch, but you can't drive with the safety latch only because the hood will go bum 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 and then one time that safety latch will go to the side and go we'll slam. So I did put the pins in. Oops, gotta go this way. Go with the bent in down. Like this, and then like this. And she's in. She ain't going nowhere. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to go to uh, uh, Lowe's, and I'm going to get some rubber stripping here, like bathroom stripping or door weather stripping from a door to fill these, because I don't want, you know, it. it's okay if a little water comes in the front, but you don't want water just running in on the electronics in the car. And, uh, but all things considered, this is not bad. Now, if I put, if I do what I want to do, which is I want to put a light bar right here, uh, a lot of the ugliness will be uh, hidden. But I do want to get these lights are trash, and I've got, uh, I got new lenses, but I just don't like these lenses. But anyway, this is the finished product. Uh, I got to run the car, get her to heat up, get the fans to fire up. Knock on wood, we want to thank the good Lord for being with us today because so many things have happened today that uh, really uh, my neighbor over here uh, who had the pry bar, that, was, that saved my bacon. He had like a six foot pry bar that uh, was solid hard steel, good old American pry bar that had a, a lip on it down at the bottom and I turned it around where that lip was like this and I put it down in here. And then I got up on the car, and I bent, I actually 
was standing on here, going like this, bending the piece back up and got it straightened out and we've got to where we're at. So I just want to thank my neighbor for the pry bar and the sledgehammer he had because I had to do a little pounding down. I especially want to thank the good Lord because he really cut me a break in this. And I can guarantee you I've learned my lesson and I mean that. Uh, this should have never happened. And you know, when I get some money, I'll probably replace this hood and all that other, other sort of good stuff. But right now, if it runs and it gets me to work, I'm happy. So there we are. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Y'all have a great day. And uh, please don't be like me. If you come up to an intersection you know is dangerous and you go there all the time, like I, that intersection that I wrecked that, going across the lanes is so dangerous. I'd rather just drive down to the right, turn it wah wah, go down about two turns, do a U turn, come back to the light, and just sit there and wait for the light to stop everybody. And that's what I'm going to do from now on. I'm not going to do this shit no more. So, anyway, have a blessed day. Thank you so much. I got a lot of work to do to get all the plastic panels and stuff back in. I want to wipe off the rest of the car. But uh, this. This is awesome. She's a good old girl, and she deserved better than I gave her, but she, look, look at her, look at her. I mean, awesome. Have a good one, folks. Sorry I can't wipe my nose because uh, it still hurts to wipe my nose.